children! Today we talk about the slasher movies. The movies with a body count. And one of the kings of this genre is, of course, Jason Voorhees. Jason Voorhees may not have been the first slasher, nor was he even the killer in the first movie, but he has earned his reputation and title with a higher body count than any of his competitors, a memorable appearance, and a larger sequel list than any other. Including that one where he went into space and became a killer cyborg. That happened too. And that is partially what we are talking about today. The futuristic cyborg Jason clearly did not continue on past the one movie, preferring instead for the classic look to always be how he is remembered. But superhero fans always love to ask who would win in a fight between two heroes. So what happens when you have the classic Jason fighting the upgraded Jason X? Hmm? For those who don't know, Jason Voorhees is an undead serial killer who usually stalks Camp Crystal Lake. He originally drowned to death when camp counselors were too busy off having sex instead of watching him. In Jason X, he was cryogenically frozen and, several hundred years in the future, a group of students on an expedition discovered his body and accidentally revived him. A robot blasted his body apart, and when he fell into a malfunctioning medical unit, the nanites inside of it upgraded him. There was a Jason X comic that explained what happened after he crashed again on a new Earth, but we're skipping that. In our happy little comic, a salvage team has gone to the remains of the Grendel, the ship that had originally brought Jason into space. They reactivate power, and part of Jason's remains from when he was blasted apart falls into the medical unit. With power restored, the unit scans it and reconstructs his original body. The reborn Jason hitches a ride on the salvage vessel, which in turn is rescued by another ship, and that's when the bodies hit the floor in pieces! By sheer coincidence, however, that ship has some Jason problems of their own, since Jason X is on board and slicing up VIPs. When the two Jasons run into one another, well, it's only natural that the two don't get along. The Jasons are like two halves of the same coin. Jason X can hear the voice of his mother urging him on, while a regional Jason can see the face of a woman he knows and trusts, but the image is silent. The battle is brutal. They stab and they slash and they disembowel. Oh my yes, there are so many people who keep getting in the way and have to be cut to shreds so the two can continue. But oh dear, they are so strong. They keep damaging the ship as well as the poor fleshy people. And being a slasher movie, there is of course plenty of nudity for those who like that sort of thing. Although, personally, I've always preferred the bones to the boobs! <laughs> bones to the boobs! That's you! <laughs> so, who wins in the battle of one Jason versus another? Why, Jason wins! Also, Jason X wins! What? They're both the original Jason in one way or another, so really the only thing that matters is if Jason is made whole again. So yes, they really both win. You wanna know what the weird thing is? This is a surprisingly difficult comic to get your hands on, my children. And bear in mind, I was able to easily obtain a copy of the Killdozer comic. And yes, we're getting to that one later this month. This one, I could barely find any copies, and they were usually very expensive. Fortunately, however, there will always be a copy in the long box. <laughs> uh...